At the Port Townsend, Washington State Ferry Dock, construction is underway. New piles are being sunk dockside. The technique in use, vibrational pile driving. Rapid vertical vibrations are transmitted into the pile, driving it home. This method is often used to try to keep the noise down. Measuring the noise below the surface, a team of graduate students from the UW Department of Mechanical Engineering, led by Per Reinhold and Peter Dahl of the UW's Applied Physics Laboratory. We really have two goals here. One uh, is to study the, uh, the nature of, of the sound, underwater sound field, as it's generated by, at, at the pile. Yeah. And uh, by, by that I mean what is its direction, angular distribution, frequency content, and uh, strength. The second goal is to study off how sound propagates away from the pile. The UW team has the area wired with 13 underwater microphones, hydrophones, nine close in, four more out at 200 meters and 400 meters. This data will be employed to describe what Dahl calls the zone of influence. The zone uh, of sound that can potentially cause impact to marine mammals and how far that zone extends out from the pile driving region is something that's that's uh, typically not well known. Previously, Reinhall and Dahl found a way to turn down the noise of impact pile driving by encapsulating the pile in a sound deadening sleeve. Dahl hopes this new data set may lead to reducing this sound as well. We might learn more about how sound is generated from vibratory pile driving in order to later reduce it, which would then benefit everyone. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.